Rohana. Preserver. Rohana. Artemis. Amon. I see your doubt, your fear. You were so alone, mewling in the darkness. Let me release you, all of you, from the suffering of this life. The infinite cycle of strife and anguish is at an end. Your words are little more than poison, Amon. Your actions bring nothing but death. They bring purpose, an end to a cycle not within had chosen. Your resistance will only bring unneeded suffering. See now why you must separate from the Kala. Its light has faded. I will keep him at bay. I will endure. I have felt his rage, seen his truth. If you will not sever your connection to the Kala, then you will be contained, kept in stasis. I will preserve the Kala however I must. If I must endure imprisonment, so be it. This material self-regenerates. It is no wonder the research of the Terrans claimed it to be from a recent epoch. My projections place it at several billion years old, if not more. Zeratul's vision said that this keystone can guide us unto hope. What do you think it means? Yes, guide us. It is a code wanting to be cracked. The keystone seems to be able to manipulate energies. But that may not be its sole purpose. I believe it stores its origin point within. Its origin point? Yes, I promise you. I will find out how this will lead us to the Zelnaga. Redouble your efforts, Karax. There is little time. I abandoned everything I knew to study and serve the Kala. I will not forsake my vows. Even now. Robotic assault units can now be added to our army, Hierarch. Adun Toribas. I return to serve Adun Toribas. Vengeance for Iron. Amon's reach extends further than I ever imagined. This war has only begun. It is one that will test our every limit. Zeratul believed that the Zelnaga lived and that they would aid us. I have heard his prophecies as well. It is said that the Zelnaga come from a world that exists where none should. From there, all life in our universe takes its root. Our forebearers searched for it. But nothing beyond legend was ever found. And you? Do you believe as Zeratul did? Zeratul killed my mother, Artanis. I will always hate him for this. I will always hold him in the highest contempt. Rajagal was corrupted by the Queen of Blades, Matriarch. Yes, I know that now. 
Reason has no bearing on emotion. Our kind embraces this more than yours. Zeratul grieved for her as well. His sense of guilt drove him to uncover the ancient prophecies, to find hope for our people. You will forgive me if I do not place my faith in the words of an exile. Uh, hey there, your royal ness. Man, this is weird. I've never talked to no Protoss before. <laughs> hey. If I have learned one thing from your commander, Raynor, it is that we are not so different, Rory Swan. Continue your report. Right. So, the artifact, uh, the, uh, the Keystone thingy's all yours. We're in the middle of transmitting all our data to your engineer. You have my thanks. Please relay my appreciation to Commander Raynor. Hey, you got it, Skippy. Skippy? The Terrans have been devastated by this attack. But with time... old friend. I have the keystone you believed would lead to our salvation. And yet, faith alone will not defeat Amon. As Hierarch, I was made aware of a location where our Kalai scientists experimented on new weaponry in secret. Within the Glacius facility, the Purifier program has been reborn. We must recover this immensely powerful technology. Glacius facility. Within lies the greatest weaponry the Empire ever developed. It is the site of the Purifier Revival Program. Purifiers? The Forbidden Weapon? They were sealed away by the Conclave, never to be restored. The ancient Purifiers are not kept here, Preserver. They are still locked away. Here, on Glacius, our researchers have been developing prototype weaponry inspired by that ancient technology. You speak above your caste, Kalai. This is unimaginable heresy. We are outmatched by Amon's forces and facing annihilation. If this technology may help us, we will use it. of action we can take will come at a price. Glacius, we were never meant to come here, but our need is dire. The Talarim? They have not been seen since the Aeon of Strife, before the Protoss were united by the Kala's Light. I'm afraid they returned some time ago, Rohana. We thought them fanatical servants of the Zelnaga for years. But in truth, they had enslaved themselves to Amon. Why would any being willingly follow Amon? That is unclear. The Tal'Darim call themselves the Chosen. What Amon has chosen them for, we do not know. They are dangerous foes who have helped forge the hybrid and shed blood in the name of our great enemy. Protoss turned upon Protoss. The Deul demands retribution for such offense. They must be destroyed. If it is their fate, it shall be. The purifier weaponry that has been researched here could prove to be a valuable addition to our arsenal. That is what I am hoping. Is there any merit to Rohana's fears? The Kalai on Glacius have prototyped the technology with successful results. It is said that these experimentations are no different than the Templar they are replications of, a byproduct of quantum predictive analytics. They were and are still only machines. Do not give them such credence, Karax. We too are machines of a biological nature. I often marvel at the architecture, the design, the careful construction of our form, our machinery. The Zelnaga forged us as we forged the original purifiers. 
Our scouts are reporting Amon's forces are conquering system after system. If we are to obtain the purifier technology, then we must move quickly. The Taldarim are preparing to fire upon the facility. Hierarch, the Taldarim are unleashing their mothership's phase displacement beam against Glacius's orbital defenses. I am First Descendant Alarak, and I've been charged with destroying this facility. You seek the technology vault, but you are too late. It will be annihilated along with the rest of this pathetic world. Use your time to withdraw from the system, or remain here and watch your forces burn to ash. I care little what you choose. He is not entirely correct. If we begin now, our forces could outpace the displacement beam. Then we are going in! The displacement beam is advancing. We must reach the vault before it is destroyed. You must place that in a power field. I have returned. You have not enough minerals. We await our charge. So be it. Your command is law. Eternally resolute. For Forisu. I am detecting a Taldarine force amassing outside of our Nexus Point. We must prepare for assault. Wait, these sentries were left behind. Let me activate them. They are quite effective at restoring shields to nearby warriors. Gateways are now calibrated to warp them in as well. the station scientists were storing raw solar right here as well. If possible, we should obtain it. Excellent. Solar right gathered. Discovered more sentries. I will activate them now.
established a large stronghold here. Templar, pull back. We do not have time to engage this base. force field. We need to destroy its power source to clear the way. None shall break us. Not enough energy. The Shadow God. Only some of your gateways have transformed into warp gates. It is better to commit to a single warp-in strategy. Upgrade complete. centuries online. Releasing sentries from stasis. Our pylon is under attack. Hyrock, I'm detecting movement from the Taldarine fleet. Multiple transport signatures inbound on the facility. Warp prisms. Clever. Alarak is activating the facility's old defenses, using them against us. Our pylon is under attack. A 
Another solarite sample obtained. is under attack. are near the displacement beam. We must remain alert and stay out of its range. We have acquired all of the raw solarite samples. They are still in superb condition. You should see them. Acquiring access. Work quickly, Faye Smith. Focus the disruptor on their location. Let them burn. I have its coordinates. Warping aboard the container now. You are not as weak as you appear, Artemis. We shall meet again. The purifier weaponry is safely aboard the Spear of a Dune. Wait. There is a prototype warrior here as well. I will have to examine it more closely.